Well, you know, I get the feeling this this commentary is dissolved from talking about the game, well, but there's much to talk about anyway, into like, um, the, the typical, every single time someone comments on a Sonic video, we always lament about how the franchise is. <laughs> Is there anything else uh, we can Okay, okay, about? okay, let's try... This is a point, actually. This is a point. So let's try to talk yeah, more if about if the game. Keep, if we keep lamenting, yep. if we keep lamenting about um, Sega, eventually it'll just get depressing, so... Um, yeah, I, I, I try not to lament, but for some reason we keep going on top of it. But yeah, yeah another thing is... Yes. No, yes. No, no, no. Well, we're pretty much, I'm yes, pretty much right. what I wanted to say anyway, so... Panic yeah, Puppets, welcome back to the finale of Sonic 3D. Sonic 3D Blast, the finale. Sonic 3D Flickies Island, that's the name of my copy. I like to call it Sonic 3D Blast. That was the American name, and Pedro has the European name, but I grew up with the Mega Collection, so I know the American name. <laughs> ah, that's... wait, huh? How fun! Yeah, the Mega no, Collection, it's, it's, it's like how... It's like, it's, like, it's like when the Gems Collection... It's because, it's, it's because... Like when the Gems Collection version of Sonic CD had the American a soundtrack. Actually, 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 I can explain that, sorry, because uh, me and Webs, we actually know this. Uh, the, the way the Sonic 3D uh, ROM uh, works is depending on which uh, setting, uh, for, uh, country setting it is, it will change name accordingly. As Dwebs, uh, Dwebs even saw it himself when he was trying it out on the emulator. Um, basically, if you take the Sonic 3D Blast ROM and put it on an emulator and set the emulator to America, it will say Sonic 3D Blast. And if you set it to Europe, it will say Sonic 3D for Kazan. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, trick. pardon me for a moment, audience, I'll be, uh, I'll be RB. Anyway, Jova will big red button. <laughs> the big, so yeah, the, the gimmick with Panic Puppets is that not only does it retain some of the stuff from Team Gadget, uh, I'm, this is one thing about the story related here. This, uh, the, the rob this is um, the animals in this particular zone haven't been put in robots yet, so they're the actually. Panic and have time. In fact, this is the last act where we'll have to save Flickies. The, the next act doesn't have Flickies at all. It kind of reminds me of what they did in um, Bullet Station in Heroes, where they have um, the shadow capsules yeah. around the place. Okay, um, I'm going to go to 2 minutes 47 because this video is starting to have issues for me. Okay. Sure. So I'll just set it to 360p. Okay, 248 then. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and quick. There you go. You know, this is a pretty good track. You know where? Um, Actually, I, I have to go. I have to be RB too. So all the fourth, please. Okay. Okay. Carry I was on. Just, I was just gonna say, um, you know, compared to, I gotta say that compared to recent years, 2015 sounds like it's gonna be a pretty boring year for, um, you know, to be a Sonic fan because we only get, we only get like two games. I didn't know we were getting any games this Runners year. Runners and um, the Rio game. Oh, yes. It's not going to be a whole lot to talk about, is there? No, I thought you meant um, main franchise games. No, I'm glad they're not doing anything main franchise this year. Well, 2016, it makes sense. I mean, 2016 should be their big year, shouldn't it? Yeah. Because, you know, 25th anniversary. But there's this one, th there's one thing I've noticed. Um, the, the, every fifth, you know, every anniversary that has a number five in it has not turned out well. 5th anniversary we got this, 50th anniversary we got Sonic Riders 06 and Sonic Genesis. Um, 25th, we'll wait and see. Did any of the Tales games come out around 2005, no, um, 1995 as well, or is that... Um, no, 1990, I meant in terms of 1996 was the 5th anniversary, and that's, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Anything, any anniversary number that ends in a 5. Okay. That's the thing though, I'm... I'm but you know the, um, the the best thing about there not being any mainstream Sonic games is guessing what the next one's going to be about. Yeah. Although I am annoyed at everyone complaining about not getting a Sonic game this year. Well, not every. Well, there's, well, there's there must be, there must be almost every franchise in existence because not every franchise has a main game every year. Yeah. And it seems Sonic's now joined that boat. <clears throat> Oh my Good. god, like, it's a series not having a game every single year. Shock horror. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, panic pop it active. Bing. All right, I'm right, back. Yeah, okay, basically we're uh, basically um, Pedro. Um, we're, we're on about um, you know the the shocking realization that like some other like like many other franchises, Sonic doesn't have a main game every year. Oh yeah. And there are people complaining about that. It's one of the things that, uh, in fact, in fact, I kind of wish they they started making that uh, habit because that's kind of what makes uh, the 3D Mario games so polished and well made. Because they take... well, it's nice to hear that they're at least trying to go with that approach. Yeah, I know, I know exactly. That's what I'm saying. Because the last one was like in 2013, and having like three years of polish, especially from the generations side of the. Um, I have to give an idea. Group. Just to give an idea, Mario 64 was in 1996, and the next 3D Mario game only came out in 2002. Just to give you an idea. Well, then again, I've heard Sunshine was kind of. Ah, I still think it's good despite its problems. There's also thing as a. a, 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 a well, I've heard, I've heard it's the weakest 3D. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is definitely. Well, honestly, I kind of like it better, but uh, I'll just say that for a commentary. Because and then after that, wasn't there no 3D Mario game until Galaxy? No, there wasn't. Because there's, yeah. there's, there's a difference between weakest and worst. Well, well, the, well yeah. the main reason for that, Shiro, is because uh, after Sunshine, Miyamoto kind of moved on to Pikmin. Uh, oh, heck, are we still on topic? Um, we, we were for a bit, but uh, we evolved again. Hold on, then I could help bring us back on topic. Go ahead. So, um, well, how about we talk about this game's history some more? Um, I, can't, I, can't, I don't know if we have anything to say uh, more about that. The European version came out in like 1997 of the Saturn version of For some reason, Europe got the Saturn version of this game a bit later than the Americans did. Yeah. Oh, Air Traveler still is doing more of that special platforming thing I saw with the flipping uh, forms. Oh. Which is funny though, aren't the um, Lego games kind of isometric? Well, well the thing. Oh, here it is. Uh, All right, um, yes, that's no. what they do. Well, we mean, actually they finished this They don't have the best camera. We actually finished this act by entering into Eggman's nose. Ew. Bro. <laughs> that's symbolic. <laughs> I like, could, you imagine, could you imagine if Mario. What is that did, symbolic of? Could you imagine if Mario did that where he entered the stage from, Mario, from Bowser's rear end or something? Um, actually, uh, Bowser's have you ever inside, heard inside, inside story. story? Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> so I meant like a main, all right, a main Mario game. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think there oh. is one. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, or, you know, you know what? Hey, could you, could, you, could, you, could you imagine if, like, the, um, I mean, I know this is completely ridiculous and it would never, ever, ever happen, but what if, like, they tried to make Mario all like, zero-ish and shit? I can see it now, Mario holding a gun and saying his catchphrase in a dark way. Fortunately, Miyamoto will never. Be Mario. Fortunately, Miyamoto would never uh, let something like that happen. No, it's, it's pretty fun to imagine, though. You know, yeah. Mario with a gun and swearing. Well, actually, that's well, Mario well, actually the, we kind of already had that in the Super Mario Bros. movie. The Goombas are actually, um, you know, um, that's what the Mario Brothers movie is for, Dwayne. Wearing mushrooms on their heads. You'll probably that's will, again. Yeah. That's what the Mario movie is for. Yeah. But we don't like to talk about that. That didn't exist. That was so uh, Yeah, it, it does exist, I'm afraid, she or he, sorry. Anyway, uh, the Panic Puppet uh, boss. You know, uh, it, uh, actually, that brings up another point, actually, about that I didn't talk about Panic Puppet. Pan Panic Puppet Act 1 has one of my favorite Sonic tunes ever, um, which was later reused in Sonic Adventure 1 for the Twinkle Circuit theme. Um, you, mean the, you mean the Genesis version? Yeah, the Genesis version. Uh, Mega Drive. Just another example. Uh, the, uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, to me, the, the Mega Drive version is more iconic. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, back to the boss. Yeah, basically, the way this boss works is you always have, every time one of them arms attacks, and, and I said, I mean, that's for all three stages, you have to hit the blue light when it starts blinking. So. Hit the blue light. <clears throat> And if you're doing like what I'm doing right now, you can uh, kind of stop him from throwing too much shit at you, if you're doing what I'm doing right now. Did I see a flicky there for a second? No, there's no more flickies, we're going to do this. They're just blue... uh... things. Much if they were evil flickies that Eggman created. Well, that's kind of what the robots are, but... Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, like, all he did was just make the flickies evil. And have them attack Sonic, and 
make, but make them look innocent so they will not even be caught on the wares. And there we go. We finished the planet Huzzah! And then the platform exploded and Sonic died. Sonic <laughs> <laughs> got through Act 3. Yeah, literally, he fell through Act 3 and died. <laughs> oh, come now, Dwibs, that wouldn't kill him. Well, we did have to fall through three platforms to get to the bottom. So now oh. we're back at the Genesis version, so we can check out the bad ending of the Genesis version. So this is what happens if we complete the game without any Chaos Emeralds. Or without getting them all. We'll see. Ah, those as Genesis... As long as I have battles. this final weapon, I can conquer this world any time. See you again, Sonic! And yeah, then, oh and then Eggman destroyed the world and everyone died. Yeah. Oh, I remember, dudes. Eggman's pragmatic. He doesn't mean to destroy the world and, unless it benefits him. Oh, and, and this is the bad ending for the Saturn version. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love how he's celebrating and is completely unaware that a ring com came from behind him. So basically, Eggman is still in the flicky dimension and he managed to get himself in the Chaos Emerald. So it's time for one more evil lap. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever did, 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 did that last having a ball. Alright, now here's what happens if we complete the Genesis version with all the Chaos Emeralds. Do we go super? No. Prepare to fight the final weapon. Oh, <laughs> right, it's time. Oh, right. <laughs> and now the Saturn version. Yes. It's time. Alright, Sonic. Remember, Tom Shao Ping is the ultimate weapon. And the ultimate wing F weapon is an egg with with uh -huh. big What's hands. I'm just gonna fight Tom Shao Ping. Well what remember, do you know? The Chinese <laughs> this is... be their ultimate weapon. You so know the... in the Mega Drive version, this zone is literally just a black room with a pivot. Yeah, yeah, and here it's much more interesting. Are you gonna show? Up? Well, what they were going for is that the, it's the flicky dimension. Apparently, from what we can tell from that cutscene in the pre, in the Saturn version we just saw before this, and from what we see in the Mega version, apparently the the flicky uh, dimension is just a black void, <laughs> which is kind of boring to look at. But um, but here they flushed it out a little bit. Yeah. Ping. Oh what? yeah. Fun, fun yeah. fact: those those pings you're hearing. You only have a limited amount of time to get from one section to the next because those pings you're hearing are going ping, ping, ping. That's a time limit. Also, uh, these sound effects are literally taken from the Mega Drive version, which, yeah. were, uh, which yeah. were taken from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah. You imagine how confusing it is you have Mega Drive sounding sound effects but Saturn sounding music. Eh, it's familiar enough. Okay, now all we have to do is jump and there we go. And now he comes in specifically just for the sake of me hitting it. Thank you, Edward. Oh, it hits me, Sonic. <laughs> Why did I think that was a good idea? Apparently he put it left in a power source. Uh, Eggman has a... You know, for me wanting to destroy Sonic and make it kind of easy for him. Eggman has a sense of fair play. Yes, he does. Basically, well, I, can't, basically I screwed up there. Sonic, I give you the chance in the world that you fail to take it. Uh, yeah, sure. I believe in fair play just as much as you okay, do. Okay, that was bullshit. I hit him. Well, so much for fair play. Ha <laughs> Sonic. What you don't know is I activated my invisible electric shield thing. Well, fine. I'll just use my power to deflect invisible shields. Take that! Ow. <laughs> that could be something. Yeah, me and Joe, I'll be Eggman. Joe, it could be Sonic. Of course. Oh, great, and a bunch ah, of perfect. Now I'll expose my head. That way you'll have no way of hitting me. Actually, uh, actually you can hit him while you're sure about like that. that. Oh, oh, fuck, sorry. I, I lost my... I lost my... I had, to, I had to sell the room. For, oh, no, wait, that's just the... Okay, well, in that case... It, it, it's like the final... It's, Sonic away! It's like the final boss of Indigo Prophecy, which, as uh, Joe very well put, Damn! I knew I shouldn't have brought in these liquids that will kill me, but I have that. Sonic! I've got missiles, motherfucker! Pew, 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 pew! Yeah, I'd be scared of those if I were actually slow enough. Ha <laughs> ha! Unfortunately for you, this isn't Sonic Labyrinth. I can actually use my supersonic speed. 
I'm faster than you. In what case of reality? Oh, that. Sonic yeah, Quad. fans are never going to let that one go, are they? No, and I won't either. Oh, <laughs> oh joke's on you, because by the Olympics, I'm faster than you again. Um, but I thought you said you'd go slower, for fairness. Uh, well, uh... uh you are nothing, okay? Uh, let's fight. Uh, fine. Once I defeat you, I will take over the franchise, and it will become an Eggman series. Sure, by all means, as soon as you beat me. Uh, actually, that's another awesome thing about Sonic Unleashed. He finally built Eggman Wing. Yeah, it took him a while, but he finally did it. And I love and how, and, 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 and I love how Sonic, and, and Sonic and Chip weren't even bothered. They just took pictures of themselves in the park. Yeah. You know, you know. honestly, when you think about it, the Boost Trilogy is quite possibly Eggman at some of his most awesomeness. It's like in Unleashed, he finally builds Eggman Land and gets the drop on Super Sonic of all people. In college, he builds a giant interstellar music park and manages to burn aliens alive for a power source for a brilliant mind control scheme. Yeah, I'm back and I was going to say, color story under the surface is actually pretty dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah burning, burning aliens alive. They're, and burning, then, they're burning an entire race for fuel. Like, yeah. I, mean, I, 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 guess, I guess Pontac and Graf were channeling the Mad World when they wrote that. Actually, or they uh, have actually was, uh, they, they, they only wrote the dialogue for that because uh, the story... Uh, or they, or, or they were like, hey, this story sounds, hey, this, this, this story kind of sounds like Mad World. Let's... Um, Let's use our thingy and make it make it seem like that. Sonic Cross yeah. 4 was the one where they actually did also write the story or something like that. Well it was like Sonic Japan who actually wrote that story, or or am I or did they only write their own oh, story? Uh, apparently we've been told that Potangraph did and indeed the write the story <laughs> for um for Lost World, yeah. yeah. Told... Anywho. Yeah. So anyway, now it's time to, now it's time to see the um endings for I guess both versions again. Yes. Good endings. First, the Mega Drive version. Ha! All right. Oh, can, oh, can I read the dialogue for the Wisps? Uh, I mean the Flickers. Sorry, oh, the, the Flickers. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead, Joe. Then you're Sonic. Okay. okay. Okay, hang on. Let me see the dialogue. <clears throat> Thank you, Sonic. You saved us from Robotnik. We are grateful for your efforts. I just did what I wanted to do. Nobody bursts with my friends. See ya. Yeah, we're so grateful for your efforts that aside from the blue wisp, none of us helped you at all. The flick is ever free. Yeah. Peace and freedom, I'm come back. Got to okay. Okay. Hey, hey no. Back. Hey, no dweebs. Now that you mention it, yeah, one thing I love about the wisps and colors—they're actually sort of like flickies, but they actually give—they actually help you in return. Hi, John Burton. Hi, hi, John Burton. At least you had a better career at Traveler's Tales to look forward to in the future. So yeah, bef before we talk about the Saturn version, how about, how about e how, before we talk about the Saturn version, how about uh, everybody's thoughts on the Mega Drive version it slash Genesis version before we talk about the improvements, uh, what we think about the improvements in the Saturn version or wait, whatever wait, the hell, wait. anything okay. new. Okay. But hold on, Pedro. Don't we need to see the ending too? Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. That's that was the Mega. That's what exactly what I said. That yeah, was the we're, point. We're going to talk about the Mega Drive version right now. So yeah, okay. thoughts. Uh, Mega Drive. It's 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 a, it's a completely made game enough, I guess, but it gets repetitive after a while. The music is very. The music is pretty awesome. Jin Sanui and the other composers did a really great job making a really awesome soundtrack. Um, <laughs> the graphics look pretty appealing, uh, I think. Oh, on, the, on the Saturn version. No, no, I've, I actually like the Mega Drive graphics too. Yeah, for the most I don't part. know. It kind of looks a bit. And I don't know. It's it's colorful, yeah, but. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's an okay-ish game, I guess. Jova. Oh yeah, the Genesis version. Well, I found a pretty fun game, believe it or not. The music I thought was great, and the graphics are definitely. Oh, Saturn up version. Far. Hold that button. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ah, Flickies. Ah, yes. Hey, using Flick you as a power source for the E100 series. Hi, thanks, Sonic. We did nothing to help. But you to guys! Yeah. Bye! Bye. Oh. Oh, okay. And of course... Finger wag. Sonic, don't <laughs> swear, you prick. And now we get a song that, honestly, I'm still convinced this song would have fit a lot more in Sonic CD than Sonic 3D. Let's hear um, it. 
Okay. And also, and also, the song's a good example as to why Richard Jack's better at writing music than lyrics. <laughs> eh? Actually, I think the lyrics in this uh, song are uh, a bit better than the song, the lyrics in Sonic Car, honestly. Well, at yeah. least in Sonic Car, you could turn the lyrics off, but here... I like Sonic R's lyrics. There's the lyrics are silly, but to be honest, who, apart from maybe Dwibs, who would turn them off when they're playing the game? Really? Well, I, honestly, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't, Chiroy, I, I can't. Chiroy, I, Chiroy, I, Chiroy, I, Chiroy, I don't. Chiroy, I don't turn them off. I'm just saying, at least you have the option to turn them off. Oh, then. okay, okay. I mean, the, the song, the, to me, Sonic R's soundtrack is a huge part of that game's uh, so bad it's good charm to me. Um, and honestly, I prefer the original. Supersonic Racing and Sonic R better than the remix in Generations. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. Again, this like is a, like an like, 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 like I've said a lot of times, cash cash are fine as long as they don't happen to open their mouths. They can't seriously, sing it, for it, shit. It, it, seriously, I mean, you got Cash Cash versus TJ Davis. Who would you rather have? TJ Davis. The yeah. TJ Davis. It's, it's like, don't get me wrong, before anyone says anything in the audience, I love Cash Cash. I love Cash Cash. Yeah, uh, he was a supervisor in this. Cash Cash did a great job remixing some tunes for Sonic Generations, like the Big Arms theme. Um, the problem is that they can't sing for shit. I'm sorry. Unless and they're auto tuned. Actually, Joe, but speak, I, I, I know. I know. There's a reason they're all. I, I, I know it's heresy, but I honestly think "Speak of Your Heart" is the worst vocal song in the Sonic game. I actually that? like that vocal too. I couldn't even understand those which, 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 which one was that? The end credits theme for Sonic Colors. Well, then again, I'm not a fan of that genre of music anyway, but... Um... Like, it, it, it sounds awful! I'm sorry. Anyway, back to this game. Do you hear the DS? But is, or, is, or is the DS version the same? The DS version yeah. doesn't have that, I think. I don't think it does. But anyway, no, the DS version the... does have that song, actually. Vocals and everything, but it doesn't sound as good as on the Wii. Oh, for obvious reasons. How anyway. can it be even more shit than it sounded on the Wii? So yeah, back in this game. Um, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll handle both versions of that game for the channel. So this game is... So yeah, this song, You're My Hero and whatever, this it sounds a lot more like a, a, a theme for Amy in Sonic CD, honestly. <laughs> no, seriously, I could see this becoming a song in, in Sonic CD. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Sonic. Uh, but special uh, thanks to Mega Drive version music composers, even though the music from that version isn't used here. So yeah, Joba, keep on your final thoughts as well. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so I guess for the Genesis version, yeah. I like the graphics, I like the music, I like the action, I like the gameplay. As for the Sega Saturn version, yeah, I will admit the graphics are undoubtedly better. I kind of don't like how it kind of sacrifices some of the uh, text boxes, you know, taking away the some of the end. story. But I guess either way, the cutscenes sort of make up for it in full. So yeah, each version has its strengths. But yeah, overall, I like Sonic 3D. Yeah, Blast. for me, the Saturn version, it definitely. I like the 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 FMVs. I love the special stages. I hate the special stages. Oh my god! You actually like FMVs? That's amazing. FMVs that are likable. Uh, not very, not horribly pixelated. Yeah. Um, I love the special stages in the Saturn version. I hate the special stages in the PC version. Um, what, the, what about the Mega Drive version? I mean the PC version, do the PC no, version. I mean, what do you think? The special stages in the oh, Mega no, Drive. Those are fine. Those are fine. Mm. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much and the Saturn version. The graphics are better for the most part. I don't really like how Sprung Stadium looks in the Saturn version. The music is fine, but I, like I said, it kind of I could it could have used a little more cowbell, like Christopher um, Walken would say. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> that's my two cents. Sure. The Mega Drive version, it has the better soundtrack from what I can remember. The graphics might not look as good, but they're fine for the console that they're on. While this game does get repetitive, I did say before, and like I still feel this way, that the game is still fun to me. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't love the game, but I enjoy playing it when I actually do. The Saturn version, far superior, better stages, superior graphics. I actually really like the majority of the soundtrack. The cutscenes are like I, I think are they okay for around that time? Yeah, ninety six. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, definitely, definitely. For FMVs, are they? Because I, I'm not really an expert. Yeah, I mean, on that, I mean, so. I mean, Tomb Raider's um, FMVs at the time because that came out the same year. And Final Fantasy VII. Well, Which came out years afterwards. Well, one year. 
Batman. You were out to watch that fight. It came out in 1997. Um, uh, and, and, uh, Sonic 3D was 96. Um, Final Fantasy uh, 7 was 97. Yeah. Okay. You done, Shiro? Yeah, that's pretty much okay, it, really. So my final thoughts, then? Go ahead. Well, I've only played like a grand total of 10 minutes on the um, <laughs> on the Mega Drive version, and I haven't touched the Saturn one. Oh, and yeah, not, not, I've seen that, just haven't touched it. And from the looks of it, the game, honestly, it looks kind of dull, no matter what version you play. <laughs> that strips for you. <laughs> yeah, again, you know, I don't, I don't have access to a, you know, a, a Mega Drive. That's trust, a strange. Trust, trust me, guys. Out. Playing the Mega Drive version tells you pretty much it, the gameplay is, is exactly the same. Uh, it, only the special settings are different. Yeah. Um... I, I, and for the life of me, I can't. I can never see a Saturn anywhere. <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty sure you can find uh, a one on eBay. New but... gimmick, though. The whole Sonics versus Eggman stick you and me have going now. Well, see you, everybody. Yeah, yeah, new gimmick. If our if our Phoenix versus Layton one ever gets tired, I could replace it <laughs> with the Sonic <laughs> versus Eggman one. What'll be next? Cloud versus Shinra? We'll see, folks. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Yeah.